Jason Wilkes, you get to see him uh, pretty much right away in the first episode. Um, you be introduced as the quirky new scientist that enters Agent Carter's life, um, working at this company called Isodyne. That sort of Isodyne plays a big part in these, this mysterious happening that uh, uh, Peggy and the rest of the ag agents at the SSR discover. So she meets me there, and uh, sparks fly, and, and adventure ensues. Hi. I said no guns, holster your weapons. Both of them have a similar struggle in their lives. I think for Peggy, you saw, and you saw this the first season with her um, being a woman in the SSR and having to climb the ranks there and hitting the glass ceiling and trying to make a name for herself. For season two, you get meet Jason Wilkes, and it's the same thing, being uh, a black man in a, in a laboratory in 1947. Um, but being a brilliant scientist, he still has had, he has had to fight and scratch and claw to get to where he is. So I think the fact that they have their similar struggles in the world that the worlds that they that they're in sort of draws them to each other. They see themselves in each other a little bit. I want to thank you properly for saving my life, Agent Carter. That's not necessary. How about dinner and dancing this Saturday evening? Dr. Wilson is very much a he, he loves science and he loves uh, just figuring out how things work and doing experiments and just getting at the bottom of things. And so you, you sort of encounter him in a very silly way. I mean, obviously he's working on zero matter and like, what is this and how does it work? And it's very shrouded in mystery. But then you see him, you meet him working on how to make a better wine. So he has this big contraption that's uh, designed to make the, a great tasting wine. Um, so he discovers that and then runs into Peggy, so he wants to share it with her. And He's always interested in sort of finding out how things work and, and how to make things better. Well, I'm usually a, a whiskey girl, but this is the best wine I've ever tasted. See? See, I realized that by manipulating the oxygen and the malaconsacinic acids, I, I could tweak the pH balance. So you're a genius. No. But yes. I'm a, a big Marvel guy, so now to have the comics being turned into all these wonderful uh, films and television shows is amazing. So to be a part of that, just from just the Marvel side, is just really, really fun. Um, kind of a dream come true, really. But also just the role in particular, I think, was very attractive and appealing to me. Just the setup alone, just being a black scientist in the 1940s and being at the top of his field was something really cool. And yet he still has a fun side to him as well. So it's not all, all science. He's, he, there's, there's, there's personality to him as well, so um, yeah, it was, it was, it, it's right away. I think I was, I was uh, very much attracted to the role.